it has been a while since we've played this game, but I think right now, it's about time we hop back in, guys. You know what it is. Ooh, straight on the drop, you see that? So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Oof, I don't even know where to start with this game, man. I've been waiting to re-experience this thing for the longest time, and right now feels appropriate. Let me explain. The brand new Frostbite update that they just released for this game has pretty much revamped the entire story, the intro. Apparently, there's some crazy stuff in the game now, and I think I'm about ready to start again. I have seen people requesting me to revisit this series ever since we stopped playing it back in the day, and I had to leave it right there because I felt like whilst the game was developing, I wanted to just give it some time to sit, you know, so that they could work on this thing. And now might just be the right time to hop back into this game and experience all the crazy stuff they've done. So, man, I don't really know what to say. Like, if you want that next episode after this one, you can know what to do. Enough talking, though. Let's go ahead and get this started. Wait. What the heck is going on? It sounds kind of urgent, right? Press any button. Oh, you know I'm doing that. Are you sure you want to go through the storm? You crash. We can't come back for you. What is this? I know. I need cover from that sentinel. Bro. What? Okay. They've completely changed the game. Dude, I'm really high. 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature. What are we doing? Yo, why were you tailing that thing like that? Deployed. Oh my gosh. Yep. We're gonna crash line, guys. Straight to the base. Just missing it. Woo! We hit that hard, dude. Dang. Whoa. Hold up. We got fire coming in. Yeah, open that door. Get the freak out. Come on. You're gonna do something, right? That don't sound good, guys. Come on. There you go. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Little computer. And that's it. Wait. Oh my god! Can I get one second? Look at this! Made it to 4, 5, 4, 6 feet. Landing was rough. I don't think Altera spotted me. I hid from their satellite. The drop pod deployed with gusto. I just have to find it and get settled. Then I'll be able to get to work? What the? This is so different to what I remember. We literally just entered the planet from outer space. Take the flare. Let's go. Let's go. Hold up. Let's check out what we came in there. If we left just five seconds later, dude, we'd be cooked right now. Gosh, look at this crazy stuff. So, we've got this section here. Nutrient block. Oh, you know I need that. What is all this stuff, though? Dang! What? You see it literally impacting this place. Alright, I'm kind of freaking out right now. It's a completely new game. Alright, we can't stay around here much longer, guys. Let's see if there's any more loot that we can take. So, we crash landed along here. Let's see if we've got filled water. Yeah, we got back more flares. One right there. Water ball. Another flare. All right, nothing more around here resource-wise. Dang. Yeah, we should really get out of here, dude. I don't know how much longer this is going to be safe. Oh, they're hitting close now. Yeah, we've got to get some cover. Let's go. Let's go. Put those things. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Yeah, hey, bud. Hey, bud. How's it going? Come in. Look at these things staring at me. Uh, move around it nice and quick. Go look at it. Woo! Dang, it's constant. I don't even know. Is it like a meteor shower or something? Well, let's get out of here. Look. Whoa. We got water. Looks like there's the ship. I think we might have got past the meteor shower. Top. Bro, look at this crowd. We're just in the game straight up. This is insane, dude. What the freak? Yo, I'm gonna take a bladder fish. Uh, don't mind if I do. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Dang, man. This is insane. Let's hop along these as much as we can. Just make it to the ship. It's all we gotta do. It's all we know that we can do. Got a family of penglings and pink wings, I think they're called over there. Another one right there. Ooh. All right, we came here, though, with a mission. We wanted to avoid Altera, I think it was. And we did that by maybe traveling alongside a meteor. Oh, oh my gosh. Woo. So many things going on, dude. So this is the hub, right? Let's enter the base. Here we go. We made it inside. Let's put this thing away. Fiber mesh. Found the drop pod. Yes, we did. Look at this outside, dude. Let's look at the fabricator. Is this literally how we get in the game, though? Okay, so we've got a lot of filtered water already. It's a bloody fish. You're gonna make a good first meal on this place. Thank you for being a uh, willing participant. Guys, I'm gonna be real. I remember very little about this game compared to what it used to be, and I'm kind of glad about that. It feels like with this new story that they got going, they want it to be that way. What the freak is... Hold up, bro. Look at that mountain back there. Look, let's move over here a bit. Look at this. Oh my gosh. 
penguins and penguins. I think they're friendly, right? Let's go ahead and greet them. <laughs> what is that? You see the way it's more like the ice kind of looks like trees almost all around the edges. Wow. Can we go underneath this? Let me jump underneath. Yeah, we can. Look at this. Holy crap, dude. I don't even know what half this stuff is anymore. I feel so out of the loop with this game. It feels great. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek the shelter. Wait, what dangerous weather? It looks fine to me. Like, you mean above surface or below? Right, let's take a swim down here. We got some of these, just mushrooms. Now, I need like a knife or something to be able to cut that, correct? Can't do that by hand. I'll take a second bladder fish. This is a boomerang fish if I'm correct. Come on, swim to that thing. You ain't getting away, dude. I'm back here. There you go. We got a boomerang too. Nice. Let's take a look down here. We've got ribbon plants. We'll take one or two of these, I think. Can you hear that above the water too? Let's take a look, guys. There's a thunderstorm over there, yeah. Dang, there's so much atmosphere to this game. Oh no, let's head back in the base for a second. Let me put the flare away. Let's try and like re-envision or remember all the stuff we used to build in, guys. So the batteries, we need ribbon plants and copper ore. I think we used to use the mushrooms for that. Standard O2, titanium, and fiber mesh. Let's see, fiber mesh, how we making that with the creep vine? Okay. Survival knife, silicone rubber, and also titanium. We need the survival knife. Look, we see these little kind of pin things by it. That's saying it's key. Whoa, look at this. Dude. Oh, they've been revamping the weather system. Hold on, let me get on some land a second. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, we got like hailstorms. Hey, bud, how you doing? Can we feed him this guy? Wait, hold up. Is he good? Bro. <laughs> All right, let's get back in the water, though. So we've got lots of things that we've got to try and find. Oh, I see that quartz down there. We'll take that. Hearing all sorts of sea life, too. I don't know how much of it I remember. I'm sure it will all come back to me in due time. Okay, first limestone outcrop. Two, titanium. Again, we need everything that we can find for now, guys. Everything is just as important. The ribbon plant, we need that for the batteries. We've got another rock, more titanium, and some quartz. Good stuff. Let's get this more. Oh, copper ore. Great. <gasps> Buddy, are you good? I remember those guys before, but I don't remember how friendly they were. So we're going to back off for two reasons. One, to avoid it, and two, not to die. You know, they have really worked the atmosphere down here, man. I'm really feeling it right now. Got some lead. Okay, we gotta figure out what that's all about. We haven't even been introduced now to the precursors just yet, right? It's completely just out in the open. I guess we gotta wait for events to unfold and just experience it as it comes. Like, we don't know why we're truly here, you know? We know we needed to get to this place, but our character's kind of keeping it very, very hush. Maybe in their head they know, but we as the player, we have to experience it. What was that? Uh... Guys, you heard that sound there, right? Oh, it's a pretty big creature. That literally, like, echoed through most of what's down here. Let's get back in the pod. Hold up. Let's see what we can make then with the resources we've got so far. We can build some things. We can make glass. Electronics. Let's make a battery. Yo, I want to make a battery, okay? One of the first things that I'm on track to make... Uh, wait, also, temperature gauge? What the freak is that? We can make the scanner. Yes, we make the scanner. Of course we do. That's how we can find all the resources nearby and learn a bit more about the fauna and different things around the area. All right, so with the scanner made, how about we go ahead and test this thing out? Power 100%, so nice. Oh, look, we can already scan things, so let's go ahead and do this large plant. Maybe we can find a use for it. It's just an indigenous life form. All right. Whoa, you hear that again with the roaring? Bro, like, dude, one of the creepiest things... Yo, I'm about to go <laughs> Whoa! Guys. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I am so hyped. Like, everything about this game just is amazing. What is this storm? Look at the clouds. Bro. I'm getting chills from this game. Are you guys too? Dude, if you want that next episode ASAP, please, you know what to do. Like, I'm begging, please enjoy this, okay? Creep vine, we gotta scan this. Now, we need to make the knife in order to uh, even be able to get those things, so keep scanning back. There we go. We got some of the bulbs over here. Let's take some of these in. We got some cr uh, cluster seeds. I don't know what these are for. I think we'll remember. We can make the lubricant with them, of course. That's important. Oh, that like red thing encasing the planet seems to have gone some more copper ore, good stuff. So the mission for the next part of this, I think is going to be to make ourselves the knife. Then we can actually chop ahead at the creep vines and then we can probably build some new stuff from there. Whoa, you see that? Hold up. We've got things coming through. I gotta resurface, guys. Ooh! This planet is vicious. Oh my gosh, this planet is just crazy with the weather. How the game has evolved since the first one, right? Look at this, like underwater. I'm getting so much presence from also above sea level. Dude, that's crazy. All right, let's hop in, hold up. Let's see what we gotta do to make the knife then. All right, we need some silicone rubber. Let me just check if we can make that. Yes! We can do it with the cluster seeds. So I think we're already good to make the knife. Let's just double check, go in here. Yes, progression. We can make some glass, we can make lubricant. 
Let me just check around. What more can we do here? With the fins, the standard O2, so fiber mesh. And I believe that we get fiber mesh by, yeah, getting the creep vines. We already have an objective on what we need to do, guys. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, yeah, look. Ooh, there's the knife. All right. Chop with the creep vine. Get some of that. We need just two. How about we make four just to be safe? So with the creep vine sample, we already know we can make that fiber mesh. And that was important, guys. All right, now let's check around this. So we've got to make ourselves some of the fiber mesh. And with that, I think we can make the other thing we needed, which I've completely forgot. The standard O2 tank. So already we can now hold our breath for longer underneath water. Perfect. Got the repair tool also. Man, we're learning quick with this stuff. Let's actually throw the beacon out there. This will give us, like, I guess the coordinates of our pod. And we don't got to worry about losing that thing. Let's throw the beacon just out here. There we go. Edit the beacon name. This right now, guys, is home. There we go. Perfect. Ooh. Guys, you hear how cold that feels above sea level, right? Oh my gosh. There is so much for us to investigate. Like, the starting zone was like humongous and it, it basically encapsulated the whole world. But right now, I feel like there's independent sectors around this new 4546B area and we're gonna explore so much more. I'm really excited for this. Let me just check out, how do we make the fins? Just silicone rubber. So, does it mean that we only gotta make one of those? I mean, I think I already got one left over. So with that, now we can swim a little bit quicker. We're killing it on this place, I'm telling you. All right, guys, so the plan at this minute in time is I think I'm gonna try and create myself a uh, battery. I want to get a torch. Coral shell. Let's scan this. Maybe we can learn something we can use it for. We got a Ooh, Arctic peeper. There we go. I've been looking for that. And this guy here too. That's a hoop fish, I think. Excellent. Just going to stock up now, guys, on all the stuff we need because this is going to get interesting real soon. Whoa, hold up. This tune. Yo, this soundtrack as well has been completely envisioned. It feels so, like technologically driven. Oh, I love it, dude. It really sets the mood for the game. Uh, also, this dude's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Let me just check out in here. Can we now make ourselves the flashlight? I feel like that's gonna be important. We can't yet. Let me see. How about the battery? That's what I was thinking about doing. That step done, I believe, guys. All we gotta do is head over here and have ourselves now to the flashlight. Bro, this music's about to make me cry. This is so atmospheric. Dude. This is awesome. Okay, hold on. I gotta stop finding out, guys. So, the plan at the moment is I'm just making all the different foods that we got. I'm gonna turn the bladderfish into our filtered water because we don't gotta worry about anything more. Let's go ahead and consume at least one of these. Let's go for the Arctic peeper. Now, it seems like food decays at a much more rapid rate on this island. Let's get a water or two. There we go. So, we pretty much have everything that we can uh, at this point here. We have the knife. We have also the flashlight. We should put that on our inventory there. I feel like the only thing we should really be doing right now is starting to investigate a little bit further along the plane, you know? Still a nice, vast open area. You see, we've got these walls enclosing us in. Still, there is areas yet to be explored. And we gotta do it. Yeah, those two right there. Let's resurface a sec. Can we walk on the land here? Ooh, hold up. Yes, we can. Let's go up. Pick up snow. Wait, Hi. what do we do with the snow? Why would we do that? Hold up. Get the freak out of here for now. We don't need that. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. You said that last time, and I was absolutely fine. Wait, so this is the direction we came from, correct? Oh, we can scan these now. Back up, back up, back up. A thermal lily. Let's take a look. So this thing's producing some. Did we miss anything back here? There's some different routes that we could have gone. We didn't check this way, at least. Let's take a look. Seems like that was pretty much it, guys. The crash site. Yeah, it don't look good. Can we maybe scale up here a second? Oh, we can't. What about if we try and get up this way? Ooh. Yeah, we made it. I felt like there was something back here. Let me see. Maybe not. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely the safe shallows of what Subnautica used to offer us. No true dangers around here. It just allows us to explore, collect some resources, and that's pretty much as far as things go. So bladderfish, let's get it. Oh yeah, look at this. This expands out drastically. So that's where home is, guys. This is the direction now that we're gonna go in. Seaclad fragment. Let's go, dude, this is what we need. Let's scan this straight away. Oh, this thing changes the game. So we got one of three. No problem. We can find those other two fragments lying around here, I'm sure. You know, as we search, we're going to keep moving in this direction, too. Definitely. Oh, these dudes fighting over there. Okay, they can do that. But yeah, we can see now the life is a little bit different over here. We have these things, which are now a different color. They're like a little bit more yellow almost, which is an interesting thing to see. Ooh. I feel like... Is there something over here? Hold up. This don't feel right, man. Let me just surface some air. Wait, what the heck is that? Hold up. Got like a platform there? Yo, dude. There's a broken wire. See that? That looks like a sea glide fragment too. Let's go ahead and get that scanned up. We need this. Okay, two out of the three down. We just got one more to find and we're done. Is that it there? Oh, let's go. Last fragment. So, sea glide is done. Let's get it, dude. Woo! We're gonna have some fun with that thing, guys. But for now, how about we see what this was? Uh, it's like 
A live wires right there. Hold on, we got these penguins and penguins. Yo, guys, you see what happened here? We'll leave them to it. Um, I'm a bit clueless what this is, guys. It's like a research station. Was this like a container? Like, you know when people go down and dive with the sharks? Is that what that is? Here's our ladder. Let's get up. What is this? There's all sorts of things around here. Uh, we could definitely scan these two. Mineral detector fragment. The heck is a mineral detector? We'll take the desk as well. It's all stuff that we can build when we want to get our home, guys. There we go. Ultra PDA. This was the thing. They didn't want us to know that we were coming down here. All right, this PDA, though. Let's take a look. Fauna research. So based on the area that we're seeing here. Species identification has proven a valuable tool in making the Arctic sustainable for continued habituation. Many species have evolved to thrive in this mineral-rich Arctic environment with unique mutations. Further study should hold untold knowledge and scientific breakthroughs. All right. Hypothermia imminent. Whoa, get under Hold up. Whoa! So the storm coming in, that brings in some super cold air. Right, let's take a peek down here. Oh, you go that way. And yeah, that's a good fish. Let's quickly check this out, guys. There's something there. Data box. What is it? Compass. Perfect. Take what's in here, too. We're just going to take it and leave disinfected water. Watch for the dangers. First aid kit. Nice. You know, guys, I think we should probably head home. Now that we have all the fragments for the sea glide, we can build that up and we can get to and from locations much quicker. I think I'll try and pick up the resources for some more batteries too on the way back. Get all that built up and then really just keep on with exactly what we're doing. All right, guys, it's time to get this done, okay? So into the tools. It should be in here, right? Nope. Mineral detector. Used to locate raw minerals. That's an interesting one. Oh, the sea glider. Okay, so we've got to get some copper wire, lubricant, and battery. Let's go ahead and make at least the batteries for now so we don't forget that. And we can also, I think, make the copper wire. Copper wire too, let's go. So the last thing we need then is that lubricant. And I think, hold up, over here, we got one of the cluster seeds. Let me see. Is this enough for the lubricant? It is. Oh, dude, let's go. We got the sea glider already. Now, this thing is like, literally, you go from one step to the next. It's a big leap. Here we go. Oh, yes. We have just upgraded, guys. That's some good speed, man. <laughs> you know, we can make this mineral detector. A proximity detector locating raw materials. Let's give this thing a shot. I've never heard of such a thing before. So, let's switch over to the mineral detector. That can be assigned to number five, like so. Number five. Let's see what this guy is. Whoa. Fragment. Searching. So, it finds things in the area, perhaps? Wait, hold up. So, it's beeping. Look at that. And it tells you where it is. Look. Yes. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little reverse thing. Oh, wait. The hidden one even pointed out. Okay. I see that. This is cool. All right. That's a pretty useful thing to have then. All right, guys. Now, I think the last thing I want to do for this episode is a little bit more scouting around this area. I want to try and figure out where everything lies. It's the only way we can really do it by investigating going further and further. Let's see what other fauna exists. Whoa. Was that sound in relation to me traveling this far? Oh, wait, 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 what? Why don't this feel right? Whoa, hold up, I don't like this. There was definitely something I've never seen before in that direction, so home is that way? Okay. The dangerous weather approaching, seek shelter. You've told me that many a times. Let's see. I want to see what sort of stuff is around here, guys. Wait. Yo, I'm freaking out. Hold up, I gotta go... <laughs> Guys, I can't do this. Hold on. We're going back. Right, let's do this one more time. We've got some hoop fish here. Now, these dudes, they give you oxygen. Thank you so much, buddy. Whoa, guys, look at this zone. Wow. I feel like I remember this a little bit. I've also found... Look at this base here, though, as well. Here we go. Let's open this. We've got a flare. Oh, this place completely lit up, though. We've got a data box. This one gives us... What is it, dude? Okay, it must have been a compass. We already have it. Whoa. It feels like there's something pretty big over there, guys. I don't like the idea of that. I wonder what they were researching with this grapple arm. They were trying to get at something, right? So what the heck is this? Hold up. Uh, okay. Oh, there's something more here. It's a PDA. It's our PDA. The Carter Status Report. Carter Status. I don't know what that's referring to. Maybe we'll learn soon enough. Whoa. All right, guys. We made it back then to the research pod. Bro, this game has changed up so much. I feel like I remember nothing about this game. It's like I've never checked it out before. This, though, guys, is the new updated, improved Subnautica Below Zero with a brand new storyline which we can try and experience. I guess the key really is to just keep investigating the way we are. We'll see what you guys think, man. Like, I would happily turn this into another series again. I remember how much fun we had with the first Subnautica game, and no doubt we can repeat that same experience with this one, too. So we'll see what you guys think. But all right, then, guys, we're going to leave this first episode here. And two things I've learned about 4546B do not go out in the dead of night, and also, Monster about to kill us.